because lying often gets a bad rep and really what it's thank you <laughs> I think 75 percent <laughs> but um really what it's showing us is how flexible and adaptable our brain is when we are telling a lie and there are two main areas of the brain that are activated when we tell a lie the first is what we call the prefrontal cortex right here and that's like your executive control center and it makes sense when you tell a lie you have to keep multiple pieces of things in mind imagine the different perspectives and in my own research with children i found that the good liars are the smarter kids <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, that yeah. can you look at somebody and know they're lying? Um, there are a lot of research looking at body language for lying. And even in the study with the kids that I was talking about, we found that the kids who were smarter, who had better memory, were able to control what we call the tells, you know, the body language. And so the good liars would kind of keep their, cla their hands clasped together so they wouldn't fidget a lot, they wouldn't touch their face. And so those are some of the tells. But really the, the key is your brain is your biggest giveaway. We know that the front of the brain works harder. Sure. And especially if you're a man, they found that when a man is lying about personal information, the front of the brain, that prefrontal cortex, is activated more. So they have to think a little harder, and it also took them longer. So that's another tell if you're kind of looking to see how long is it taking someone to respond to the question. So if you're a man, have it scripted out prior to lying. <laughs> Definitely. That's what I'm yeah. hearing here. So why do, like, I'll cut you off. No, absolutely not. The second part of the brain that we see being activated is what we call the amygdala, or the emotional center. And so that's almost like a moral center. Um, uh -huh. it, it, it acts like a moral center. So researchers have found that when you're telling a lie, especially a lie that you're going to gain something personally from, like get more cookies, um, <laughs> that amygdala is kind of dinging, saying, hey, that's not a good thing. You should stop that. And so when you have a child, kind of cap, you know, capitalize on that, like, well, how did you feel when you told me a lie like that? And that kind of helps them be aware of the emotional side of the lie, not just the cognitive side. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a great note, then. I'm going to have to write that down. <laughs> <laughs> So you dupe me on that. Now, if you want to learn more about Tracy, go to her website, and it is tracyelloway.com. Thank you so much for hanging out. We love Thank these you. topics. <laughs> these are great. Thanks for having me.